Robert Mugabe has retained his post as the leader of ZANU-PF, while his wife Grace has been endorsed as the Women's League boss. But for Joyce Majuru, it's D-Day. On Friday, the Speaker of Parliament, Jacob Mudunda, told delegates at the party conference Majuru had teamed up with others to topple Mugabe as far back as 2009. Even more damaging, he claimed they were backed by Europe and America, who allegedly promised to pour billions of dollars into Zimbabwe once Mugabe was gone. The speaker went on to accuse Majuru of manipulating party structures to create a base for herself and her political supporters. She was until recently a frontrunner in the race to succeed Mugabe. This attack follows several others in recent months. President Robert Mugabe and Grace claimed the country's vice president was plotting to remove him. The 90-year-old has been at the helm since independence in 1980. For Joyce Majuru, the future looks bleak. Once a hero of the liberation struggle, she now appears to have no role in the ruling party or in government.